comic friends, I'm Travis, and it's time for an edition of What The Few, where I talk about what's going on with me in my week of comics. How's it going, everybody? Um, been a good week. Um, let's see. Um, what do I want to talk about first? Let's start out with Comic Book Roundtable. Um, I am going to move Comic Book Roundtable officially to Saturday. Now, does that mean occasionally it won't be on Friday? No, doesn't mean that at all. Um, Saturday seems to be working out for more people to get more people on the show. Uh, and that's part of the fun is to have somebody else's voice on the show besides just mine. So, um, starting this Saturday, I'm going to move it to, um, going to move it to Saturdays unless, um, some people come back, decide they want to do the show and Friday works better. Then we'll shift back to Friday. Saturday works better for me also because it gives me actually two days to read my comics instead of me trying to power through all of my comics in, um, one day. So, um, gives me a little more time to think about them and maybe even enjoy them a little more. So, comic book round table on Saturday, this Saturday, um, 6.30 Pacific, um, and what would that be? 9.30 Eastern time if you live in the States and whatever that is for all of you people living everywhere else, um, that are out there watching the show. Uh, appreciate you all coming on and watching the show and leaving comments. Um, we try our daughters to read some of those comics, comments. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, a bit of technology that I am still struggling with trying to figure out a good way to make it work best. So, what else? Um, I, I'm hearing a lot of hubbub like on Twitter and whatnot about the fact that it sounds like um, Wolverine, of course, is going to be dying in the Marvel Universe, and he has asked Spider-Man to take over for him with the X-Men. Now, what does that really mean? I'm not sure. I'm not up to date on the book itself or exactly what's really going on with Spider-Man. Got to get somebody on the round table to talk those books more so I know what's going on. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know how out of place that is. Um, you know, um, I think that if it's a matter of him taking over a spot on the X-Men from a superpower standpoint, you could pick worse people to have on your team than Spider-Man as far as powers and stuff go. If if it's the perspective of he's going to help teach at the school, um, I, you know, I don't know how much Wolverine actually talked because like I said, I'm not reading that book, but as just like an advisor or a person to talk to, I think Parker actually would probably be a pretty decent person. Um, he strikes me as being pretty sympathetic and um, um, to uh, young people and their causes and, um, their issues and all that stuff. I mean, cause he started out as a, um, as a, um, uh, youthful superpowered person. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, Marvel team up back in the day, back in the, uh, seventies and eighties when it was coming out, um, eighties, it wasn't the seventies. Yeah. Um, you know, the final issue of it was, um, Spider-Man teamed up with the X-Men. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, I, I, you know, I guess maybe if you don't want your Marvel Universe to be, you know, mixed up, you don't want your, um, chocolate mixed with your peanut butter or, you know, that sort of thing, I guess it's a bad thing. Um, to some degree, as a young reader, I always wanted the universes more intermingled. I always wanted more things. If it happens here, it should have some effect here. Um, and so seeing those characters all together, for me, that was always really cool. Um, in this day and age... I don't know, I'm almost more inclined to almost wish there wasn't a universe, whether it be Marvel's or it be DC's. You just have these characters telling their own stories or whatever. They happen to intermingle, and they choose to intermingle, they choose to intermingle them. But, I don't know, somebody fill me in if I'm wrong on the whole Spider-Man thing. To me, it doesn't seem like that bad of a, that bad of a thing. Um, you know, um, if the idea is to kind of change things up, tell us a little bit of a different story, um, give us something interesting and whatnot. Um, you know, use Wolverine's death as an opportunity to potentially inject some new blood into um, Jean Grey's school for a little while. I don't know. Um, can't be any worse than um, killing Parker off and having um, um, uh, Peter Octavius for a while. Um, and then going back to it being regular because we, you know, we know at some point, at some point Wolverine will come back, right? Um, way too popular of a character. I mean, he, Wolverine's probably the most popular modern day, uh, modern era hero that was created in the modern era, right? Um, I mean, there really isn't 
I, I can't think of a modern era character that has the level of impact and popularity that, that Wolverine does. Um, I mean, I'm, by no means is Wolverine on the same level of popularity as Spider-Man, Batman, and stuff like that, but still a pretty um, popular and significant character, right? Um, so you can't imagine them being dead for too long, I wouldn't think. Anyway, maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe because I'm not invested in any of those books, it doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Um, before I start shooting this video, I, I noticed that um, Constant Bromstar has a video out about some stuff, and maybe maybe I need to go watch that. Maybe it informed me on, on some of that, right? So i'll uh, have to do that um let's see forgot to talk about this last week um last week uh opening day of tickets being on sale for emerald city comic con um i jumped on buying tickets last year was the first year i haven't gone since i started going uh to the con not gonna miss it again you know the kids don't need to eat if it comes down to that right so i'm uh, going to emerald city comic con um I thankfully got my hotel reservations right away at least two of the hotels have filled up as far as getting the the deal that you can get um Emerald city comic-con has partnered with like a dozen hotels to um um get cheaper rooms for that weekend um i'm gonna be staying literally across the street from the convention which is awesome um and darn convenient loud but darn convenient um so that's gonna work out that's great i'm excited about that um of course that's gonna be at the end of march so we don't need to talk about that a whole bunch. I'll be talking about that as it gets closer. Um, pretty excited for that. Uh, what else is going on? Um, some new comics coming out this week. I already think I've screwed up. I, I didn't get Copperhead. Um, and now I'm hearing people describe it as being a space western. So, damn it. Um, that sounds cool. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Solicitations didn't sound that way to me. Or I missed it somewhere along the way. So... I'll be off to the chain store sometime this weekend, hopefully, and I'll see if I can pick that up. It being image number one, might be a slight chance that, that my chain store has it. Um, of course, I'm rolling into my second week of of um, none of the um, most of the DC books because of the whole Futures End thing. I'm not getting any of those, so my pull will be a little bit smaller and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying the books. I, you know, quite frankly, haven't missed the um, DC titles. Other than I've heard some people talking about some of the um, future and stuff like Batman Future End and um, Batgirl Future End that <clears throat> kind of make me wish I'd picked them up. But it is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. I hate a peanut, and it's killing me now. <coughs> oh. Okay. Nope. Gonna get a drink. Be right back. Oh my gosh, thought I was gonna die there. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Oh! Yeah, today, September 11th, 2014, is my third year anniversary on YouTube and probably my 34th or 5th um, year of collecting comics. Yes, that makes me old. Um, so yeah, three years. Three years of being on here. Um, uh, this last year has been an interesting year, uh, an enjoyable year. I have um, met some new and amazing people, um, got to go on some interesting comic book adventures, and um, um, continue to um, have my worldview of comics challenged, which is for me is always awesome. Um, it's one of the reasons I'm here. It's one of the reasons that I come and I talk comics and whatnot is to talk comics with all of you, um, to hear what you have to think about the books. Um, it adds an, an incredible another level to um, my comic book reading. Um, and um, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it all. Um, there were some rough times um, this year, both personally and um, and and for my channel um, that you know I kind of worked through and um, out the other side, um, bigger and better, hopefully. Um, and 
I, you know, I hope to keep. I hope to keep doing this. Um, kind of keep thinking that I, you maybe you change something up because people maybe are tired of listening to the same stuff. Me talking about things the same way. Um, the round table. Does it need to change? I want to get back to doing the comic book parfait. Um, some of you probably are going, "What the hell is that?" Because I haven't done very many of them. I just get together. It's kind of like a, almost like a book club. Get together with some of my comic book friends that I've met here or that I know in my own actual personal life. And um, we just pick some books that we want to talk about for whatever reason we want to talk about them. Uh, really enjoy that. That's a little hard to organize. Um, so um, that's why that's kind of been on hiatus. Um, my life has been busier in general. So that's why that I've been kind of skipping out on that. I hope to get back to some of those. I hope to um, figure out how to um, get some new people in on that um, to talk books. So uh, hopefully look forward to that in this new year. Um, um, I'm hoping to have some more just general discussions about whatever's going on with me in, in, in comics. Hopefully make these What the Fugues a little more interesting as far as that goes. Um, but I do know What the Fugues seems to be my most watched um, video. I don't know if that's because it's generally shorter than anything else or people just like to hear me blather about whatever happens to be going on. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching um, watching my channel, subscribing to my channel. Um, and, and for those of you who make videos too, thank you for making videos and, and talking comics with me. Um, if you happen to be somebody that I just talked to, you know, mostly on Twitter, um, if you watch the show too, thank you. Thank you for talking on Twitter if you don't talk here to me. Um, it doesn't matter to me. It works however, however it happens. Um, like I said, I appreciate it. Um, it. It almost always adds to my enjoyment of comics and the comic medium and, and all of that. And in, um, in celebration of, of that, um, I'm going to kind of do a, a giveaway. I th thank you. I thank you to um, my um, subscribers. And... Um, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking, you know, I haven't really thought out this 100% exactly uh, what the rules are. I, I, it's not a, I don't want to, it's not a contest. I mean, ultimately it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to do some drawings. And what am I going to give away? I, I don't know. I've got a bunch of stuff kind of floating around that I, I kind of wonder, okay, I have this. I'm, not, I'm never going to do anything with it. I should probably pass it on to some other, some other comic book lover. So you're not going to know what it is. If you choose to participate, you're just going to get some random thing from me. It doesn't matter where you live at either. Um, I'm, I'm feeling rich right at this moment, I guess. And, um, you know, if you live in, you know, uh, you know, China or you live in Australia or you live in England or you live in Scotland, which sounds like it might soon be its own country, um, Canada, um, Mexico, the United States, next door to me, if you live next door to me, let me know. Um, I don't care. I'll mail it to you wherever it's at. I'll, I'll figure out how I'm going to do it and, and I'll get it mailed to you. Um, if you're willing, of course, to, you know, in a message, tell me what your um, mailing address is so I can mail you something. Um, of course, the risk of telling me what your mailing address is, is, you know, heck, who knows, I may show up on your doorstep one day and, and say, hey, let's talk comics in person. Um, but at any rate, um, so this will go on, let's see, I'll let it go on until the end of September um, is going to be the cutoff date. So... Was that September 30th or 31st? Whatever the last day of September is, that's when the cutoff's going to be. Uh, two ways of entry, because there's those of you who I talk to fairly regularly and, and participate all the time who do not make their own videos um, for, for whatever reason that is. Um, afraid to be in front of the camera, don't have a camera, don't have a computer that processes it, whatever, whatever your choice is as to what that is. Um, you can answer these questions in the comments of this video. It's got to be in the comments of this video. Um, if you make a video, um, I'll put your name in twice. At least. Uh, yeah, twice. Let's go with twice. That sounds good. Um, if you make a video, I'd really appreciate that, that you made a video because um, that would be fun. Um, and um, um, let me know. You know, I mean, I watch most of my channel. Um, and, and if you make a video, I will um, comment on your video. If I don't comment on your video, send me a message because somehow I, I've missed it. Um, I subscribe to a lot of channels and... Um, you know, I'll be honest, I, I can't watch everything all the time, so I hunt and peck to some degree. Um, everybody I'm subscribed to, I watch some of your videos, but I don't, I don't catch them all. I, I never do. 
Um, there's too many. Um, but um, I try my best to catch a spattering of what's going on. So, with that said, send me a message if I haven't commented on your video. You make a video for this. And, and most of these are just kind of silly questions that, that, I, that I thought would be fun. I, I've been driving for most of the day, so I've just been thinking up a few questions, thought, well, these will be amusing. Um, you know, answer them however you choose to. Um, give them as much thought or not thought as you prefer. And um, we'll celebrate three years of me being here on YouTube. Anyway, here are the questions. Uh, you wake up stranded on Paradise Island. What do you do? Question number two. The Hulk is coming over for dinner. What do you serve him? Question number three. Is handwritten lettering in a comic better than um, the computer font? <clears throat> Question number four. You have just become the head CEO for Marvel, for DC, and Image. Maybe not all on the same day. What do you do first? So if you're the... Um, just become the head CEO, head person in charge of Marvel. Uh, what's your first decision-making um, thing? Same with DC and same with Image. Um, what would you do? Let's see, uh, it was what, four? Question number five? You're going to throw a birthday party for Batman. What heroes don't you invite? Uh, question number six, I hope, if I'm counting right. <sighs> Because obviously there can't be enough um, uh, comic book adaptation television shows right now. Um, what book or character should have a TV show next? And uh, number seven, last one. Um, you and Doctor Doom are starting a supervillain group. Who else do you invite to be in the group? Okay, so those seven questions. Answer those seven questions. You've got until the end of the month. That's September 30th, 31st. Sometime after that, I will do some sort of a video, some sort of a draw, some sort of, you know, something um, to further celebrate uh, my three years and um, three years or less change of all of you participating in my comic book reading um, experience here on YouTube and um, life in general. Uh, we can celebrate sequential art and in all of its forms and in all of its glory. And thank you once again. And have a great day.